And for those that have just joined, I do have my colleague Paul in the chat. So if you do have any questions as we're going through this webinar today, if you have any questions about Bunnick tours or any of the information we're sharing today or any of our tours worldwide, feel free to pop any questions into the chat and Paul will be able to come back to you. We will also have time at the end for some questions and answers, which I'll go through as well. But if you can find the chat function, Paul has popped a message in there already. So just feel free to pop any questions you may have in the chat. So as I said, my name is Zoe Francis. I'm the National Sales Manager here at Bunnick Tours in Adelaide. I've been with Bunnick Tours for over eight years now, so quite a while. And over my entire life, I've actually been to Europe probably four or five times, which is, I'm very lucky. But most recently, I was actually in Portugal last month, which is pictured there in the Douro Valley, um, just north of Porto. And I actually joined one of the Bunnick Tours, short tours of Portugal. So we'll be having a look at that tour today, as, as well as a few others. So Europe is such a fantastic region to travel with so many incredible destinations to choose from. So today we're going to virtually explore the small group tour offering that we have here for 2024 with a focus on the new style of these short tours. So as I mentioned, this webinar will be recorded today for those that can't join us or if you're having any issues hearing or seeing anything, not to worry, we will send you a recording afterwards that you can watch at your leisure. And we do have Paul online in the chat, so feel free to pop any questions that you have into the chat. Um, we'll be happy to answer them as we go through. Um, but first, we'll have a brief introduction to Bunnick Tours from our CEO. Now, you will need your sound off. When it comes to overseas holidays, there are the mass-produced bargain tours that all pretty much look and feel the same. And then there's Bunnick Tours. But what makes us different? You'll see all the epic sites, of course, but it's much more than that. Because we design our tours for smaller groups, we can offer so much more, like unique experiences, more time to explore, and don't forget, plenty of space on the bus. Lock in your small group tour now through your local travel agent or at bunnicktours.com.au. So some of you may recognise Dennis, but for those of you who aren't familiar with Bunnick Tours, we have remained a Australian, South Australian, based here in Adelaide and completely family owned independent business for over 28 years now. So Bunnick Tours was started by the mum, Marion, who's in the middle there, and she's joined by her two sons, Dennis and Sasha, and they are our joint CEOs today. So we're really proud to come out of COVID incredibly strong with our worldwide range of award winning small group tours. And we've really grown significantly. So you'll see an incredible large range of tour offerings in Europe and the UK and Ireland next year. So we've got a whole range of new tours. We've got more departures than ever before. So we're really looking forward to welcoming you to travel with us next year. So coming out of COVID, we know that there has been a real trend towards small group touring, social distancing has become popular. But for us, this is absolutely what we have always done. So small group touring, touring is not new to us. It is absolutely our expertise. So it's something that we're very proud of and continue to offer because we truly believe that a small group tour is a better way to travel. So all of our tours are expertly designed here in Australia in this office in Adelaide by our product team who are passionate travellers themselves. So they're travelling and experiencing the hotels, the experiences, everything firsthand to be able to continue to develop and make fantastic tours that you'll love. So everything is designed with the customer experience really at the forefront of our tours and making sure that we're offering you the best experience in the destination that's really authentic as possible as well. So we absolutely are these small group touring experts. So for those that haven't travelled with us before, why do people generally want to travel with Bunnick Tours? So I would say that the number one reason that our clients travel with us is usually our group size. So that max 20 symbol, we take no more than 20 passengers anywhere in the world. 
We do have groups that are even less, so an InStyle and our Africa tours take even less. But these smaller groups are really designed to get you into the heart of the destination and not just ticking a box. We're not interested in just getting that stamp in the passport and saying that we've been there. We're really about getting into the destination, immersing into the culture and experiencing everything firsthand to truly feel like we're becoming a part of the destination and learning so much about it as well. So included on all Bunnik tours is a number of special experiences on every tour. But also included on all Bunnik tours is all of your sightseeing. So this is a lot more in depth than many as we choose to really limit optional extras. Most tours don't have any. We really believe that if you should see it, then we should include it. So as Dennis mentioned in the video earlier, all the highlights, all the must-sees of the destination are absolutely already included. But on top of that, we've got those special experiences that are really unique to Bunnik. They're unique to the destination and they're really the experiences that you're going to have that are the memories that you're going to take home. So with all these inclusions, this actually helps your value for money and budgeting. You're not having to put your hand in your pocket as much, not having to deal with um, conversion of foreign currency as well, but we also include all of the tipping as well. So it just makes life easier that you get to just enjoy your travels. So we have a variety of travel styles to suit your needs and to help find the right tour for you, but today we will be focusing on those short tours. But Europe's an incredibly diverse destination with such wonderful history, culture, the food is fantastic and it really varies um, across the different destinations. There's also a big range of scenery and nature and it ranges from medieval old, old towns to pristine coastlines to rolling vineyards and delectable cuisine. So the destination is sure to be a highlight for you. So we say that a smaller group tour is a better touring experience, but why is that so? So travelling in a small group is a better experience because you're going to get so much more out of the destination by travelling in a smaller group. But that doesn't mean that we're going to put you into a really small vehicle and squish you in. We actually still travel with larger spacious vehicles where you can spread out, you can have the window seat and the seat next to you. So you can put your handbag or your day pack down, it's not interrupting your leg room and you get full access to the window for those wonderful views. And of course, with only 20 on these coaches, it takes half as much time for everyone to get on and off the coach. So that is time saved that is used to spend more time in the destination, getting to the destination or your hotel earlier and giving you more free time at the sites that we're seeing along the way as well. But one of the other fantastic reasons that travelling in a small group is so desirable is the ability to develop rapport with your tour guide. So the tour guide is absolutely the expert of the destination. So often if you're wanting to travel to Italy, it's because you've got a real interest and you want to learn more about the destination and experience it firsthand. And who better to learn from than somebody who has grown up in the region that has lived there and can share their own personal experiences with you. So when there's a smaller group, you're able to get more one-on-one -on -one time, develop that rapport, you feel more comfortable asking more questions and therefore can really learn more about the destination. But also it's a really nice way to travel with very like-minded travellers as well. So in a nice small group of a maximum of 20, we often find that we see people developing really lovely friendships on tour. Often we'll see repeat travellers booking their future Bunnik tours with other passengers that they've met on their last Bunnik tour. So they're wanting to travel together again. We get a real mix of couples, singles, singles travelling together. So regardless of which category you fall into, you certainly won't be the only ones as well. And I think one of the key benefits of being in that small group is that we really want you to feel like a part of the family rather than just another number on a tour as well. And I think that really comes to life in all Bunnik tours around the world as well. 
But the other benefit of a small group is some of the places that we can access, some of the experiences that we can include. We absolutely would not be able to do if we had a much larger group size. So there's a lot of really in immersive experiences that are only suited to a small group. Some that are really local, home hosted family dinners, for example, going to somebody's house, you can't take 50 people there. So it's a really lovely way to get true authentic cultural experiences. Another benefit from travelling in a small group is that we don't necessarily need to stay in large hotels. We can really mix it up. We can stay in more boutiques, smaller properties because we don't need as many rooms. So all of our accommodation is really chosen for its character, for its location, always cleanliness as well. So on average in Europe, these hotels are three and a half to four star. It really varies depending on where you are. Every single hotel that we use is listed on our website. So you can always have a look and see the information, look where you're staying. But for us, it's less about the star rating and more about the experience that it's able to offer you. So we want these properties to be right in the heart of the old towns, walking distance to bars, cafes and the main squares. So you can really make the most out of your free time. One of the best things to do, I think, in Europe is to grab a coffee or a snack in one of the main squares and sit outside in the alfresco dining and just take in the people watching and the experience of life going on in these beautiful old historic towns. So this property here in the photo is actually a hotel I stayed at in Portugal and it's a former convent and it's an absolutely gorgeous property. We had breakfast um, just overlooking um, internally some of the most incredible historic um, experience inside. So it's such a wonderful property, but it's also really well located. So that's a real prime example of what we can do in a smaller group as well. So while we are focusing on the UK, Europe and Ireland today, we do have our award winning small group tours operating in seven diverse regions. And this is a real fantastic reason why we have so many customers that travel with us again and again. Often, you know, people don't necessarily want to go to Europe every single year or multiple times a year. So we do have tours all over the globe, still traveling in that wonderful small group style, which everyone loves that experience. So don't forget to consider Bunnick Tours for your next small group holiday in any of our wonderful regions. So our travel styles include our classic air and land tours you may have travelled on before or seen advertised. We have deluxe in style tours that are purely five star and our new multi active tours as well in some destinations. But today we're focusing on a broad range of short tours. So a short tour is land only. We don't include the flights on these ones in the price but they're designed for you to add on to and to build into a much bigger itinerary. So you could piece multiple of these short tours together. You could add them to one of our longer classic air and land tours and we'll accommodate the flights around it. Or even other arrangements, such as if you're doing a cruise or if you're visiting friends and family or on your own independent holiday. The short tours being an average of 10 days are a really lovely fit to some of your other interests and arrangements while traveling. They still have all the standard that you've come to know and love from Bunnick Tours, including our maximum group size of 20, all that included experiences, the sightseeing, tipping, of course, always led by our expert tour guides. So they're just designed as a shorter option for those who don't have quite as much time or are looking to add it on to other options as well. So today we'll explore those shorter tour options that really allow you to get to the heart of the destination while still traveling in the small group size that we know and love. So as mentioned, I was lucky enough to travel to Portugal with Bunnick Tours last month. And this is the tour that I did, the Treasures of Portugal tour. This is 10 days from $4,295 per person. The single supplement prices are available on our website or you can call our team anytime for those. 
So this is one of our best sellers with a number of dates filling fast and some dates already sold out for next year. So certainly if you are looking to travel in 2024, I would not hesitate. I would be certainly getting onto that as soon as possible. But I can see from my first-hand experience why this is such a fantastic selling tour. So the 4295 price includes all your accommodation, all the transport. We had a very large, spacious coach. We have all those sightseeing included, a number of special experiences and many meals along the way as well. So I really didn't have to put my hand in my pocket too much. This tour starts in Porto for three nights before we go on to Braga and that lovely hotel. And from there, we spend two nights in Coimbra and then finish off with three nights in Lisbon. So one thing that you will notice in all Bunnock tours is that we really have a focus on spending multiple nights in each place as much as possible. So we've got three nights in Porto, three nights in Lisbon. So this is going to give you a really great variety of experiences, but it's also going to give you a really lovely balance of free time as well. So we include a lot more, but we're also giving you the time to actually enjoy it as well. So some of our special experiences that we included here was exploring the shale villages as well as visiting a winery in the Douro Valley. And we just allow you to have the time to really immerse into the destination and having some free time to discover these historic cities as well. So we begin our small group tour in Porto, which is a really gorgeous city. It was one of my favourite places and it lies along the banks of the Douro River. So it's in the northern coast of Portugal and it's um, Portugal's second largest city, but it's well known for its port wine production, as you can imagine by the name. And as I said, this was one of my favourite places. We explored the city's sites, including going on a cruise under the six bridges of the Douro River, which are quite famous, before heading to the opposite side of the river, which is the Gaia side. The UNESCO Heritage Listed Imported side is a fantastic view from this side of the river. But on the guy side is where all the local port wine sellers are. So this is where we went and had an experience to learn how authentic port is made. And of course, we get to enjoy a tasting of their famous trademark product as well. But after here, we had free time to explore the market stalls, the many restaurants that line the riverfront facing that beautiful Porto side with spectacular views as well. So it was a really lovely day. And the next day, again, was another highlight for me. So we travelled through the Douro Valley, which is just so picturesque. We were very fortunate and had incredible weather, uh, beautiful sunny day. So we were able to take in these incredible views on our tour. And then we had a really lovely tasting at a local wine estate. So we did a tour through their gardens and then also got to learn about how their wine is made and have a tasting at the end as well. So on this tour, there are no optional extras that you have to pay for. All of these experiences are already included for you. So you're not having to pay extra to take in all of these experiences, which really bring to life Portugal and make sure that you're getting a really comprehensive experience throughout. So after Porto, we stay in Braga, which is one of Portugal's oldest cities. And there's that fantastic hotel um, that we stayed at. But this was right in the heart of the city. So I spent the afternoon enjoying walking around, dining outside, people watching from the main square. And because we were in northern Portugal at night, it was a little bit cooler as well, which was really, really pleasant. And on our way to Coimbra, we visited the charming town of Ova. So this is quite a smaller, lesser known town, but it's known for its vibrant tiled houses. So here we take a walking tour with a local and we learn about the details and the history of these stunning tiles. So they explain the various eras as we wander the town. We're looking at people's houses and the different tiles they're using. And we learn about the town's commitment to restoring and preserving these iconic tiles, keeping the history alive and the town beautifully preserved. 
So as simple as that is, that was a real highlight for myself and other travellers. And it really goes to show the benefit of being in a small group and having a fantastic tour guide. So we had a local specialist just for this town who really brought it to life. And it was very interesting and authentic and, of course, very beautiful as well. But one of our special experiences on this tour is a visit to the shale villages. So these villages are quite unique and the houses and all of the architecture is made up and constructed from shale. So those tiles that just make for some spectacular looking architecture. So it was really lovely to travel into the countryside as well, get out of these towns and into some smaller villages. So it provided a different side of Portugal that we hadn't yet seen. And we enjoyed a spectacular group long lunch. I think we were there for a few hours. So we had a true local restaurant that was traditional and it was in the most picturesque setting and it was one of our favourite days. So it was really lovely to share a lovely long lunch and we had codfish, stews, delicious desserts and the food was very, very plentiful um, but also very delicious. So this was a true special experience for all of us. So the tour concludes in Lisbon, which is such a vibrant city. It's Portugal's capital and it's full of fantastic bars, restaurants, interesting museums as well, and it's got some iconic views. So here we tour the National Palace of Sintra outside of Lisbon. We also take the scenic route back via the coastal town of Cascais. And in Lisbon, we're also including visits to Geronimo's Monastery and the Monument to the Discoveries, which celebrates Portuguese age of discoveries during the 15th and 16th centuries. So it's a fantastic place to end your tour, but it also has a nice amount of free time there, which is a really needed like to explore those museums and everyone's personal interest. There's so much to do in Lisbon. But I've tasted my way through the local markets and I really loved that. And then we had our farewell group dinner, which we had a Fado performance, and that was just spectacular, a really lovely way to end our time in Portugal together. So this 10-day Treasures of Portugal tour is a great add-on to other European bunnik tours, including our Spain in Depth classic tour. So there was quite a few clients on my tour that had come from that. Though we also have a new short tour to southern Spain, which is just eight days, and this tour pairs up perfectly also with Portugal. You can do Spain first and then Portugal. So consider looking at these as back-to-back -back options as well. And this tour is just 2995 for the eight days. So a great add-on again to one of our longer European small group itineraries, Southern Spain offers an in-depth look at the southernmost region of Spain, including Seville, Ronda, Granada and Cordoba. Alternatively, consider maybe post a cruise or for those looking to break up visiting family or some independent arrangements. But again, the lovely pace of the tour gives you the time to really indulge into the culture of southern Spain, which, of course, is full of some fantastic food. And you'll see that a lot of our special experiences are centred around this must-try local produce. And you'll see here, starting in um, Seville and finishing in Cordoba, this is a great train network throughout Spain, so it does get quite easy to build into other parts of your travels as well. So this tour starts in Seville, which is known as the birthplace of tapas. And in Seville, there's over a thousand bars serving these small treats. So it's a great option to just go walking from bar to bar. You get one tapas at each place and just taste their own specialty. So that's certainly something that I like to do. Um, but Seville has kept a beautiful old town with its Moorish and Roman influences and it's still got a lot of um, those influences prevalent today, but they've kept some fantastic preserved old towns as well. So one of the highlights is a visit to the Royal Alcazar Palace and its unique architecture. So seeing those Moorish um, Islamic um, influences coming through. And before leaving Seville, we head to a local village known for its sherry production and flamenco. So, of course, we include a taste of its local drop. And our next day is in the small village of Ronda, where we tour an organic olive farm and we enjoy a degustation of local produce. 
So this part of southern Spain is quite unique and quite different to northern Spain, and you'll see the contrast if you have been to other parts of Spain as well. But these special experiences are all included in the price. And Granada is set in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains, so it provides some spectacular backdrops and scenery, and it's a highlight for many guests in this region. And in the city, we'll by narrow and steep alleyways. It's a real maze to explore. But one of the highlights is a visit to Alhambra Palace, which is one of Spain's most famous attractions. And it's nearby General Life Gardens, which are pictured here. And they were the summer gardens of the Kings of Granada. So taking a break from the palaces and the architecture, we do have ample free time here and in most of these cities. So. One of the highlights, though, that we do include is a delicious group dinner, and this is, of course, the region's famous tapas. So these experiences are a great way to enjoy the benefit of small group travel. You've still got your expert tour guide while having that balance of free time. And the Southern Spain tour ends with two nights in Cordoba as well, which is an easy train ride away to connect to other parts of Spain, continuing on your travels or to major airports to return home. So we're going to jump across the UK and Ireland now. And our Icons of Ireland tour is nine days from 4995. And this is the perfect add-on to our England, Scotland and Wales classic tour, or in addition to our Scotland discovery tour, which we'll look at shortly. So our short tour of Ireland starts and finishes in Dublin. So an easy major city to get in and out of, and perfect for building into a bigger itinerary. So you'll experience the southern beauty of Cork, the spectacular west coast, the impressive cliffs of Mohair, and much more on this nine-day small group tour. From the charming local villages to the historic castles and dramatic scenery, Ireland really has plenty to offer you. And of course, maybe a glass of whiskey or Guinness along the way. So highlights on the Icons of Ireland small group tour include a visit to Kilkenny Castle. So here you're going to be transported back in time to medieval era and you'll take in the rich history of the area. But the charming streets of Kilkenny and no doubt throughout Ireland um, are home to many, many pubs, which you'll see throughout. So plenty of time to enjoy tasting some local um, Irish stews or potentially again a Guinness or whiskey. And another highlight is our two-night stay in Cork, which is Ireland's second largest city. So the harborside town situated on the River Lee. It's full of narrow streets bursting at the seams. It's got traditional pubs, boutique shops, welcoming laid-back locals. And the city is a fantastic base for us to explore the natural beauty that surrounds this part of Ireland, including a visit to Killarney National Park. So we have stays in Limerick and Galway, and we take in more of the historic and the cultural sites that Ireland has to offer, plus the iconic cliffs of Moher before returning to Dublin. So in Dublin, you will be treated to a special experience at the Jamison Whiskey Distillery for a tour, seeing how it's all made and produced, but of course a tipple at the end. And then we have our farewell group dinner. So perfect to add on to the island tour is this nine day Scotland discovery. So a lot of those dates do line up for you. So this one is nine days from 5195 per person. And this starts in Edinburgh and finishes in Glasgow. So here you get to delve deep into Scotland's rich history, exploring the medieval castles, villages and more. It's got endless natural beauty throughout as you travel to the Isle of Skye and Inverness and get into the highlands. We're visiting many small towns along the way as well and tasting some of the finest local produce. And this is again, one of the best reasons of why doing a tour, specifically a small group tour, is that you can get beyond the big cities and into some of these smaller towns that you might not know of or be able to access independently. So Edinburgh is a fantastic city, steeped in history, it's got a really picturesque combination of old and new. It's a city that I've been to and I really enjoyed. And it's certainly got bustling streets. So it's a great place to visit for locals, visitors alike. 
But here is a really good option. So if you are planning on traveling in August, certainly arrive early, see if you can line up to go to the Royal Military Tattoo or the Edinburgh Fringe, Fringe Festival operates throughout August as well. So you can certainly add a few extra days to make sure that you can take in those one of a lifetime experiences. Referred to as the capital of the Highlands, the pretty city of Inverness is located on the banks of the River Ness. And on our way, we drive through the largest national park in the UK as we leave our city surroundings to take in more of the natural beauty that Scotland has to offer. And of course, no visit to Scotland would be complete without a visit to the infamous Loch Ness, including one of Scotland's largest castles for spectacular views from above. So the views keep coming as we visit the UK's only mountain gondola and take in some stunning views from above of the incredible highlands. Another included special experience is a cruise on Loch Lomond and before we finish our tour back in Glasgow. So this is a popular choice to those wanting to experience the highlights and those lesser known sites, again, with the benefit of an expert tour guide and like-minded companions. And this is just some of the tours that we have on offer in the UK. So as always, see our website for more information. So we're going to jump across to Italy now. We've seen a huge increase in popularity to the southern Italian island of Sicily. And so this new short tour is proving very popular and it's 10 days from 4895 per person. So that includes, again, all your accommodation, sightseeing, all those special experiences, many meals, tipping and more. And it's a great option for those that have already done a lot of mainland Italy or want to see a different region. Or again, a fantastic add on to our Italian discovery or other tours of the region. So starting and finishing in Palermo, the Treasures of Sicily tour covers a range of interests over the 10 days. You'll embark on a captivating journey through the Mediterranean gem where ancient history, vibrant culture and breathtaking landscapes await you. And so you've got the charming streets of Palermo to Taormina where you can experience the beauty of this popular island. Home to the recent series of the White Lotus is probably why it's increased in popularity a little bit more. And Sicily has a really diverse offering for all. So we've got ancient history on show here with the marvels of the Valley of the Temples near Agrigento, which is a captivating archaeological site of Greek temples. But then there's more recent history explored on an, we do an anti-mafia walking tour. And that goes through the streets of Palermo, learning about the significant events and stories there of those who stood up against the criminal influence. But we also have some natural beauty, which is absolutely on show and it's really to be explored. So we include a visit to the beautiful town of Cefalu on our way to Milazzo. And so this area is known, stunning beaches, and it's the gateway to the Aeolian Islands, where we include a day trip to Lipari by Hydrofoil. So you've got a really unique blend of volcanic landscapes and Mediterranean charm, lots of colourful buildings with lining those narrow winding streets, quaint shops, cafes and local markets. It really makes it absolutely perfect to explore on foot. And renowned for its stunning natural beauty and offering breathtaking views over the Ionian seas and, of course, Mount Etna. So it's no surprise that Taramina is one of the most popular destinations in Sicily. So here we get to indulge in a delicious lunch paired with, of course, some local wine at a really picturesque Sicilian winery. And again, all of that is already included in the cost of your tour. But you're also afforded the time to take in Taormina at your own leisure. So spending time maybe in the square or visiting the Duomo or taking a leisurely stroll. So this Treasures of Sicily tour visits the highlights and those known sites of Cefalu, Palermo, Taormina, but also taking in those smaller, lesser known towns of Lapari, Ragusa, Masala. And of course, with an expert local guide with you, who is going to absolutely bring the destination to light. And then sharing those experiences over many included delectable meals and lots of local produce. 
And one of our new tours in the north of Italy is our Tuscany and the Lakes tour, which is 10 days from 6895 per person. And this explores Verona, Lake Garda, Como, Florence, Siena and more. It's a really enchanting area. So we start in Verona and of course, and when visiting there, you have to go and see Romeo and Juliet's house. But this is a fantastic tour that can be easily added on to other arrangements in Italy because, again, really fantastic rail network. But travelling through northern Italy and its famous lakes set amongst the snow-capped mountains before heading to Florence with its Renaissance history. So one of my favourite experiences included on this tour is going truffle hunting. And you go with the truffle hunter and their dog. I'm a big animal, animal fan, so I would really love this. And you're seeing them look for those delicious truffles in the heart of Tuscany. And then, of course, we get to have a tasting at the end. But there's many food experiences included, um, including tasting the local cheeses, hams, local wine, and we even do a pasta making class. And two night stays in most places really allow you to wander the towns with local recommendations for dinner. So after a visit to Romeo and Juliet's house and the highlights of Verona, we head to our first day of Lake Garda. So while in northern Italy, we stay in Lake Garda and Lake Maggiore for four nights over the two. And from there, we're visiting the famous Lake Como and Bellagio. So these are the picture perfect towns with those stunning backdrops to simply sit and enjoy the views from a cafe on the lake's edge or leisurely wander their old towns and historic city centres. And we also include a visit to one of the jewels of the area, which is Isola Bella. But leaving the Northern Italy lakes region, we head south and we enjoy some of the most incredible food. So in Emilia Romagna, it's one of the finest food traditions across Europe. So after delighting the taste buds, we'll head to the well-known city of Pisa and its famous Leasing Tower. We're based at Luca for two nights there. And it's one of the most stunning cities in Tuscany, including its well-preserved Renaissance walls, which completely surround the city centre. And this small group tour finishes in Florence with its famous Duomo and Michelangelo's David, and while also seeing the med medieval town of Siena, which is a, and of course, the UNESCO heritage listed San Gimignano. And this 10 day Tuscany in the Lakes tour, it's perfect addition to our Southern Italy, Sicily and Malta to really comprehensively see both North and South of Italy, or could easily be combined with cruises or other arrangements as well. And one of our other new tours is the 10 day Imperial Europe small group tour. And this travels through Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary and Slovakia. So quite a traditional route for the river cruises. Rather than travelling on a cruise, it's a great way to really spend more time in these smaller central European towns by staying on a land tour. And this is 10 days from 4595. So with two and three nights throughout, you can experience an unforgettable journey through Central Europe's most enchanting cities. So opulent palaces, fairy tale-like villages, and there's a lot of poignant history to really learn about. And then this tour concludes in Prague. So a fantastic option if you haven't been to this area before to really get to know Central Europe. Again, by staying in the towns and in land, you'll actually get to have more time in these beautiful old cities. But we do follow part of the Danube. We have two nights in Budapest at the start on the banks of the Danube, and we'll get to experience that Hungarian culture and a lot of delicacies before we spend time exploring the urban streets of Vladislava, which is in Slovakia. So it's been strongly influenced over the years by various nations and religions, and that just adds to the really interesting history that we'll get to learn about. And we leave for Vienna by boat, sailing part of the Danube to arrive at the next destination. And of course, one of the key sites to visit in Vienna is a highlight, which is visiting the Imperial Palace of Schönbrunn, which is pictured here. And with its adjacent buildings and vast gardens, it's among the most important Baroque structures of its type in Europe. And here we will experience an authentic Viennese strudel cooking demonstration. But of course, at the end, we get to taste their hard work. Though one of the highlights is a stay in Chesky Krumlov. 
And the Czech Republic is one of Europe's newest countries, but it's filled with medieval towns and fairy tale castles. And Chesky Krumlov is really no exception. And this charming town absolutely looks like it's straight off the pages of a picture book. So here we enjoy a tea or a coffee in the castle tower and we get to sit back and take in the historical surrounds. And we finish our tour in Prague with its famous um, old town square and astronomical clock. We've got a lot of sightseeing included, all the highlights in Prague. But finishing in Prague, again, is another fantastic city to be able to add on to other parts of Europe or to another Bunnick small group tour. So while most of our tours operate during the warmer months, generally March, April, depending on which part of Europe to October, we actually have a classic winter tour. So we have the European Christmas market. So for those that want to experience the magic of a Northern Hemisphere white Christmas, we have our Austria, Slovenia and Croatia Christmas markets tour. This one is traveling next year on the 6th of December for 10 days from 4795. So not only will we discover the Baroque architecture of Vienna, the charming streets of Ljubljana, the serenity of Lake Bled, and the Roman ruins of Split, but also here with the added touch of Christmas magic and potentially covered in snow. So starting in Vienna and finishing in Zagreb, it's the perfect add-on to your winter Christmas holiday. And it's a really magical time of the year to visit Europe, and it's quite different to obviously what we experience here in Australia. So this tour takes in the enchanting Christmas markets in Vienna, in Ljubljana, in Lake Bled, and also in Zagreb. And Zagreb was proclaimed Europe's best Christmas market for three years in a row. And this tour is an absolute winter wonderland. So of markets, historic old towns, stunning scenery, and again, you've got the chance that it will be covered in snow. So you can sip on mulled wine whilst exploring the markets, the lights, the decorations, the stalls, and of course, the Christmas tree. But it's not just the markets we visit. So we get to take a winter walk around the stunning Lake Bled and its castle. And we also indulge in a three course Croatian Christmas lunch. We get to make and taste our own gingerbread. And we also go to the Plitvitz Lakes National Park, which is an incredible sight to see in winter, a real contrast to others that might have visited during the summer months. But walking's a fantastic way to explore, and Zagreb will do just that. So rug up and we'll take in the views of St Mark's Church, St Catherine's Church, the Parliament and Government Palaces, the Cathedral. But it's a really fantastic city, but also taking in that Christmas charm. So they're the tours that we have touched on today, but as I mentioned, we are absolutely just touching the surface. There is so much more to experience in Europe and in our other destinations. So if you want to know more about some of the tours that we have or see tours from other regions, just visit our website, bunnictours.com.au. We also do have brochures available now. And so you can actually order them from our website or you can actually download digital copies as well. So if you were interested in a Bunnick tour, you can book through any of your preferred travel agents. We have all the information on our website and you can call us on the 1800 286 645. So we'll just have a look if there are any questions. I know there's been some coming through the chat. Please feel free to pop any more questions. Again, for those that had any issues with tech and weren't able to view or see or hear, please just make sure that you're on our newsletter and we'll send you through a copy of the recording. 2025 tours for Europe won't be out for a little bit longer. At this stage, we just have our dates and prices for 2024, but you can be assured that all of our best-selling tours will absolutely be back in 2025. Just scrolling some of the questions that we had here. The Jewels of Dalmatia tour is one of the Air and Land Classic tours, so not one that we covered today, but certainly if you have any questions about it, feel free to jump on our website for more information or give us a call as well. 
We do have tours of Vietnam and Cambodia, and as much as they're the classic ones that have the air included, you can always take the air out as well. Generally, our tours do always go in the one direction as well. And we have some travellers that are looking forward to travelling with us in Japan. So as I mentioned, we have a fantastic range of small group tours, not only in the UK and Europe, while it was our focus for today. Uh, it's also one that we have a really popular in Japan. We've got a big range of tours throughout Asia, Middle East, South America, Africa, and also now Australia. So if there's not any further questions, thank you very much for joining me today. I do appreciate you taking the time and feel free to scroll our website, reach out for a brochure or again, get in touch with your travel agent or through our website for any more information. Yes, Pauline, I have been to Morocco. I was there recently, actually. It's not one of our short tours, but we do have multiple tours that include Morocco. One of our best selling tours in Europe is actually our Spain, Portugal and Morocco tour, which is 28 days. But we also have a tour just Moroccan discovery, which really focuses in depth in Morocco. And that's one of the tours. It's very similar to what I did. We'll just leave this open for any more questions, but please feel free. Thank you very much for joining us today and we'll hope to see you again next time.